Hello again. Here's how to make um, a solar spinner. It's a, it's a very simple um, solar powered toy. Um, due to the uh, cost of the solar cell then uh, around about five pounds now, it's never going to be a class activity. Um, but you, you might want to think about making one uh, perhaps as part of a display on uh, electricity or energy or um, alternative energy. Um, it uses the um, standard cheap electric motor. Um, usually we have these motors where the body of the motor is fixed and, it, and the shaft spins something. We're going to turn that around. We're going to fix the motor down, fix the motor shaft down by this pulley and the motor's going to spin. And we're going to connect the solar cell to the motor. So the pulley needs to be fixed to a base. Um, it does wobble and shake about a bit so uh, we could use uh, glue it to a block of wood or um, I'm going to sellotape it to this uh, piece of corex. You could use a piece of cardboard. Try get it roughly near the middle. It doesn't need to be exactly centre. Okay, now um, if I was making one in my workshop um, I would bend the legs out like that and we take this strap off, we don't need this um, connector. So we remove that and what I'd do is I'd use my soldering iron to solder those two, the two motor terminals onto those two um, screws sticking out of the solar cell. I don't know if you, you can see that. Um, it's not often that primary schools have um, a soldering iron. Um, so here's another way of doing it without needing a soldering iron. And I'm going to use two of these um, standard crocodile clips. Uh, all these materials are available uh, from my supply service. Now we need the, this part of the crocodile clip to be a good fit. Unfortunately as they come they're too loose. So I'm going to use a pair of pliers to very very carefully squash that to make it a bit smaller. If you look carefully at the crocodile clip you'll see that this part there is a split down there. I don't know if you can pick that up. So I'm going to very gently squeeze the crocodile clip just a little bit and now once that's tucked in you can squeeze it a little bit more Keep trying it as you go. That is just about right. That feels quite tight. I think I can squeeze it just a tiny little bit more. Probably taking it too far now. Yes, I have. Let's try. It. There we go. So that you've got that a nice tight fit onto that terminal. Now do the same with the other one. So just very, very gently squash until one tucks inside the other and then you can squash it a little bit more. Keep trying it, that's still too loose. So we squash it a little bit more. Getting there, I think one more. There we are, that's going to be a good fit. There we are. So we've got the two crocodile clips fitted to the uh, terminals of the solar cell. Um, we can now connect the crocodile clips onto the terminals of the motor. There's one. And there is the other one. So that it's connected like that. We can now very carefully plug the motor into the pulley. Make sure the whole thing spins round and if I shine a light on it, if you're going to use a desk lamp um, I would only use a 40 watt bulb. If you leave a solar cell under a 60 watt bulb for a, any length of time it will um, it will get hot and it will um, damage the solar cell. And as you can see that's that's working quite nicely. Uh, my room here is north facing. Um, at the end of this video um, I'll show you another one that I've made 
running in a sunny windowsill. So um, I hope you enjoy making this simple solar powered toy.